Hi, my name's Tom Hackett, and we're here today to talk about assertion-based VIP. And what is assertion-based VIP, and, and, and why is it useful? Well, let's take a look at a, at a typical design under test, a chip. So to, to find out if you've got bugs inside, you have to, to test the design to stimulate it, and uh, hopefully that stimulus will uncover the bugs. So in, um, in logic simulation, we stimulate the chip with a set of test patterns. And those test patterns go into the inputs and ripple through the chip and get transformed as it goes through and come out the other side. And then you collect the outputs and compare it to what you expected and see if the, the chip operates as expected. And if it doesn't, then you know you have a bug and you go through the debug analysis process to find out that, okay, down here somewhere in the chip we had a bug. Now, um, that's, of course, very beneficial. It's the way we do um, you know, verify designs. But it's also very time consuming. And it depends on having the right set of stimulus that will uncover that bug. And so um, there's another approach that people can use, and it's called formal analysis. And formal analysis has uh, a unique uh, ability to prove that a design is 100% bug free. And that sounds great, so how, how does that possibly work? Well, formal analysis represents the design. Instead of a bunch of logic gates, it basically reduces it to a set of equations. And for the input stimulus, instead of test sequences, it creates um, a set of properties that covers all possible stimulus. And then it uses another set of properties to describe the design under test and uh, specifically the expected behavior of the design under test. And those properties are called assertions. And so you can think of it as we assert that the design will exhibit certain behavior when confronted with all possible stimulus. OK? So that's how formal analysis works. And the great thing is, is that you don't have to worry about creating just the right test sequence. Since you're covering all possible stimulus, it will definitely find that bug in your design. Um, now, the, the drawback of formal analysis, though, is it, you only get that big benefit if the design is small enough to be handled by the formal analysis tool. And so for IP blocks, that works great. Uh, for maybe sets of blocks that will work, but once you get into big subsystems or a whole SOC, it just doesn't work. There's not enough uh, horsepower in the formal analysis tools to do that kind of analysis. So there's another um, limitation in that uh, this whole process works really well on parallel bus interfaces like uh, the AMBA AXI or AHB or ACE or the Open Core Protocol, OCP, uh, SOC fabric. So it works well there because those are all parallel, but it does not work well on serial interfaces like a, a PCI Express or, uh, or, 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 or SATA or pretty much all the other interfaces that are out there. But provided it's small enough, provided it's a parallel interface, it works great. And uh, so since it works great, why doesn't everybody use it? Well, it takes some uh, expertise to create the uh, constraints here that's describe the stimulus and the assertions that describe the behavior of the design. And now that is where assertion-based VIP comes in. Because for those protocols I mentioned, AHB, AXI, ACE, OCP, so we provide the assertion-based VIP, which is the constraints and the assertions to, um, to model the uh, proper behavior of the design. We provide that, you take it, you plug it into your design under test, you run the formal analysis, and it tells you, is your design bug free? Or if there is a bug, then it shows you explicitly where that bug is in your design. And so for the uh, designs that meet those requirements, it's a great solution. It's called assertion-based VIP.